The one thing I forgot to mention before is that when my wires come in from the solar panels, there's going to be a disconnect right here. So it'll go into my disconnect and then it'll go down and over into the um, charge controllers. I got my four foot level up here. I did have to run into town. The instructions say that uh, screws are included. If it did not have any of these, these are quarter by one inch. It only says you need to be quarter by half inch, but the store didn't have any, so one inch isn't going to hurt anything at all. I'm going to get those um, boxes up, those charge controller boxes set up here. I also bought a few more of these grommets because although they have some one inch ones in the, in the uh, box that came in, there's only one three quarter inch. I thought there were two three quarter inches, but I can't seem to find the other one. So when I was at the store, I went ahead and bought a couple of those. So those are the um, go through the knockouts to keep your wires from rubbing on any, any sharp metal and causing problems there. So it should be good to go now to go ahead and hang these three up. These are probably I don't know, 30 pounds, maybe 40. So again, you got your hook there in the top, and then in the bottom, once you get it hanging up there, there's two holes in the bottom that will uh, tie the bottom part in. Um, I believe this screw, I've turned it around and did it from the inside, will actually screw to the one next to it if I can get them to line up properly. And then if I were to attach this to the power distribution panel, I would undo this screw and it would hook into that notch that I showed um, earlier on. But again, that's not how I'm gonna, gonna set this up. So the difficulty part here, and again, I probably need to have two people holding this up where I need it. Well, I screw it in. Making sure I'm level in both directions before I put the bottom screw in. Yeah, I found my earplugs and I should probably get them. This uh, ratchet can be quite loud. Make sure I can get these close since this mounting screw up here sticks out I'm going to actually take that out and then if my plan works the bottom will screw to the one next to it I need to take both of these out I'd like to get the top to screw together but Take this off, there's so much inside there. I haven't tried looking at the fan compartment though. Peek in there real quick and see if I can get access to that screw. Well, now look, I don't think it's possible. I am not even gonna try. If I can get the bottom tied together that'd be great but really it's not that big of a deal. Like I said none of these are actually attached to each other. They're all just sitting really close. I think a better design would be to make everything line up the way it should but what do I know? Seem like it may work, but I don't think it's going to. Nope, guess we're not going to get that to work. Yeah, 
You know, I just, oh, I just realized I didn't knock those conduit. I didn't knock that out for the communication line. Hope I can get that without having to take everything back off. Gotta take that aluminum cover off. To run through. So remember to knock those out before you install these on the wall. There's other knockouts that I'm not going to do yet. I'm not doing those on purpose because I don't know what I'm going to run through these just yet. I know I'm going to have lines run through these. So each one of these charge controllers can do two strings of panels. I have six strings, so I know I'll have at least you know, six wires running through here, four through here, and two into this box. So I probably should go ahead and knock this out because I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna use it, so I should know which one I'm gonna use. I'll do the back one. out that dang combat piece again. Just putting those grommets back in. short a couple of the smaller ones. Okay, so that's the basic setup. So here is the disconnect from my panels. Hang that guy right there. So I've got Three coming in, now I'll go to my three um, charge controllers. And then from above, this is the weather head. So this will go out through the conduit, stick up out the soffit, and it will come in and hook to this one, which will come down like that, right into the top of my disconnect. From there, the wires will come down off the disconnect into the 
charge controllers. Charge controllers down to the batteries, batteries up to the um, inverters, inverters to the power distribution panel, power distribution panel to my house. Show you real quick, a little closer up. So there's the bolts on top. Quarter inch by, I use quarter inch by one inch. They say quarter inch by half inch is fine, but again, the store didn't have any. Um, here's the other side of those panels, that uh, brackets that fit on the wall. These are directly into studs. These are structural screws that I purchased with a flat uh, pan head on it. Um, once you hang them on the wall, you have a couple screws up here that uh, ends up holding this off the wall a little bit. I'm sure that's for air circulation. Um, got these hung up and then down here I had two more screws to put in. Again, I tried to use this this screw to go right into the other one, but it, it didn't work. I'll just take that guy out. Had to knock out the um, knockouts there for the Ethernet cable so that everything can talk to itself, talk to each other. And those ports are up up here. Each one of these had a battery temperature sensor. So the battery temperature sensor is this one. These are the two cables for the uh, Ethernet to talk to each other. These are auxiliary uh, 12 volt ports that are made to do several things. Um, I don't know if I use those or not, but it's, it's an option to when you set your system up that they will um, power something. Uh, one of them is an auxiliary fan. Um, your fuse is in here. The kit comes with a fuse. Your uh, fuse will go on the negative side only. They said the positive side you really don't use. That's more for a commercial application. Is what I was told watching one of the uh, Schneider um, online videos. So each of them comes with a fuse. Find that for you real quick. So this is the bag that it comes in. So this long cable here, this is the battery temperature sensor. There's your fuse. That is your uh, network terminator. So if you're only using one of those ports, this would go in the other one. I'm assuming that so all these things talk to each other, that I will have... I'm still waiting for my wiring schematic to show up from the company, that it will come... This one will go over to the other system. This one will go to that one. That one will go to that one. This one will get a terminator end in it, is what I'm assuming, but we'll see how that lines up. Um, here in the bottom of there, of this, is where your solar panel wires hook into. Um, they have three ports there, but we're only gonna use two on each side. I don't quite know why they have three when they say you can only use two of them. But that's the basic setup. I'm going to put all my panels back on, and then um, hoping my wiring schematic will show up. I've been putting the uh, plastic bags back over everything as well at night, since we're not 100% dried in yet. The uh, windows and everything will come next week, I believe. We have no rain in the forecast. And this is all covered, has a roof on, so there's no water going to get in here at all. Okay, the next step I have to do is set up my power distribution panel for having two inverters hooked to it. So to do that, I have to remove this uh, bracket that holds your breakers. You can see there's set up for three of these large uh, 250 amp breakers. Uh, mine, the kit, comes with another one since I have two. If you have the kit that has three, you'll have three. The uh, toggle on mine broke off. So I'd ask them, um, or I talked to them today, and I don't know if they're going to send me another one or not. So I'm not going to install this yet until I know if I've got another one coming in. But I would mount this back behind there next to the other one. There is a um, this red main wire, lead wire there is attached to the back of this one. The kit comes with another red, another uh, positive, another negative one. So I'll have another positive hooked onto this bracket the, uh, around the back of that breaker. I have to take this off and then they send you a larger one to hook on. So this will handle the uh, additional um, 
uh, wire jacks needed for both those panels. This is actually the same one you'd use if you had a, uh, a third inverter. It'll replace that panel or this uh, um, piece right there. And then the back of the breakers would go one, two, and three. So I'm going to use these first two hook up there in the back. And then these lugs will go right into the bottom here again. That's where we're hooking up to my um, batteries, I believe. So I'm going to wait until I find out if they're going to replace this before I actually install it. But it's pretty straightforward to uh, to change this this section over. And the next part I need to do, waiting for my wiring schematic, would be to learn how to hook up um, one of these as a master and one of them as a slave, I believe, how those two inverters work. So I have to uh, hope I'll get those here in the mail or in the email today.